What's up, you guys? <clears throat> oh, somebody don't want me to speak. What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Cops inside you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the love and support your channel. And thanks for all the shares of my content around social media and word of mouth. Because it's really helping get my channel around. And it's really helping my business grow. So thanks so much for all the love and support. I appreciate it. Okay, so I received a channel message. I hope everybody's doing well. It's a lot better than earlier. I'll tell you that. Okay, so I heard um, someone is secretly upset because you don't need closure. I heard you're moving on to bigger and better things. Congratulations, whoever that's for. Somebody's upset you don't need closure, but you're but you don't. I heard you don't. You don't need closure uh, for whoever this person is. They're upset, secretly upset because you don't need closure. Um, um, I feel they were abusive. They were abusive to you, and um, that's probably why you don't need closure. I didn't hear that's why, is because they were abusive. But there's a reason why you don't need closure. I heard you're moving on to bigger and better things. Absolutely, man. You're about to have strength. Moving on. Number two could be a very significant number in one's life. Number two. I feel for some of you could be a Leo or take it on Leo energy or have Leo in your chart to the strength card. But um, if somebody treats you wrong, there's no reason to stay. If anybody needs to hear that. If somebody treats you wrong, there is no reason to stay. And that's just the truth. Moving on to bigger and better things, I heard. So you're moving on to bigger and better things. You're having strength to move on. Absolutely. Because if somebody abuses you mentally, physically, uh, sexually, or financially, there's no reason to stay. And that's just the truth. It's better to move on to bigger and better things. If anybody needs to hear that. You are so strong, so strong. People that once fed off your energy, energy harvesting, they are there's about to be a serious decline in these people. Serious decline. Okay, I heard um, people that once fed off your energy, I heard energy harvesting. So dark arts there, energy harvesting. Um, they once fed off your energy. I heard they're about to have a serious decline. Now, I don't know if that's medical, mental health, or both, but they're about to have a serious decline. Uh, physical strength could, I feel weakness maybe, or fatigue, or maybe mental health is going to decline, or a combination of both. But you're going up and they're going down, basically. You're moving on bigger and better things, but it's because they were energy harvesting off you in the past, um, whoever you are. I feel for some, you could be in a Coven area, or you used to be around a Coven area, or your family was part of a Coven, and you uh, separated, estranged yourself from your family, possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates. But you're moving on, baby. You're moving on. Spirit messages here, perspective. Look at him. I just want to show y'all. Look at him. We don't have the cat tree anymore, but he utilizes it like a cat tree. A law firm's business is about to uh, tank in a huge way, and a law firm's business is about to go up in a huge way. Okay, a law firm's business is about to tank in a huge way. It's about to go down in a huge way. And a law firm's business is about to go up in a huge way. So, yeah, letting go. You've let go of the situation. You're moving on to bigger, better things, whoever you are. I, you're, you don't need closure. You're you're moving on. And absolutely, if somebody abuses you mentally, physically, financially, sexually, or otherwise, it's better to let go. Let go and let God. Number 35 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 35, you've let go. You don't need um, closure. And chaos is coming to some kind of law, law, law firm group. Um some lawyers group, law firm group, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I think in the financial sector, I heard uh, their business is about to tank. So um, 
I think people are not going to want to utilize their service or services. Maybe they didn't do right by their clients or didn't fight for them the way they properly should have, possibly. That's what I'm presuming. I didn't hear that. But you plug it in, how it resonates. People are letting go of this law firm and the, um, they're about to move on to a different law firm or not, or tell people not to use this law firm. How would that resonate? Chaos is coming to a law firm in the form of financial um, situation here. And for one law firm, it's about to go, um, their business is about to go up. So uh, I think people are about to be very, we have generosity. People are about to be very generous to this law firm um, as far as putting their business into this law firm. Um, uh, I think this law firm has a good reputation. The one, the business is about to go up. They have a good business, uh, good reputation and their um, stature is about to go up. Their business is about to go up. I think they're very generous to their clients, very good to their clients, and they treat their clients with honesty, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. But the other law firm, business is about to tank um, in the form of financial here um, because people are letting go of the law firm. For some, you could be the one about to not uh, tell people not to utilize the services or tell them what happened to you or speak on your story with this law firm, the one where business is about to go down. For the one where the business is about to go up, I think people are positively promoting this law firm in a positive way. And I think this law firm is very generous and kind and really fights like law, do law dog. Oh, I can't speak. Law dog energy for this uh, law firm. Uh, I mean, the law firm fights for the clients, is what I'm saying. The law firm fights for the clients. And I think they get generous um, payouts and settlements and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, for their clients, is what I feel. You plug it in, how it resonates. Let's pull one more. Spirit messages, do you have a question? Did you ever like it? Someone's about to receive very important communication from a law firm soon. Very important communication. Someone's about to receive very important communication from a law firm soon. Very important communication. So heavy law firm energy in here. Um, you don't need closure. You're moving on. You're going to new beginnings here. I feel for we have family reverse, so I feel for a lot of you guys. You have estranged from your family is what I feel. I feel you are estranged from your family. It's letting go of toxic family for a lot of you guys is what I'm feeling. Or it could be child custody battles possibly or something of that nature. We have heavy law firm energy in here. Um, but I feel for a lot of you guys, you have estranged from your family. Um, or work, it, this could be work family. Work family, toxic family, or neighborhood type community, so-called community, and they're not really. To me, family reverse could be supposed community that's supposed to support, love, and support you, and they're really not. Or um, toxic family, like bloodline, or um, uh, so, supposed work family. Wow, that resonates. Okay, letting go. New beginnings here. You don't need closure. You don't need closure. You're moving on. Heard of, um, somebody's about to get very important communication from a law firm soon. So to me, that could go positive or negative. You plug it in how it resonates. Cool for a lot of you guys, you're manifesting your dreams. Number 46 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 46. Give me a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 46. You're manifesting your dreams with the new beginnings. Absolutely, man. Someone is about to blow up on social media in a very positive way.
Someone is about to blow up on social media in a very positive way. So whoever you are, you're about to blow up on social media in a very positive way. You're manifesting your dreams, something to do with uh, social media. Um, you're about to blow up on social media in a very positive way. Uh, maybe this is a new venture for you or it's new that you're about to blow up on social media. But in this aspect, it's positive. You're about to blow up on social media in a positive way. So it's something you've done. Uh, I'm feeling you're, something you're doing now or something you've done in the past. Or for some, it could be business related. How that resonates and applies, okay? But you're about to blow up on social media in a very positive way. You plug it in how it resonates. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped and I'm going to close it here, okay? Love you guys. Namaste.